Deep within the enigmatic lands of Egypt, a bone-chilling secret has recently been unveiled, sending shivers down the spines of scientists worldwide. This remarkable discovery, veiled in mystery and steeped in ancient history, has managed to strike fear into the hearts of even the most intrepid explorers. Locked away for centuries, a forgotten relic has resurfaced, igniting a storm of questions and trepidation. Brace yourself for a journey through time and prepare to uncover the enigma that has the scientific community on edge. Subscribe to our channel and let's go. Linen Book of Zagreb In 1868, the Archaeological Museum of Zagreb in Croatia obtained the body of an unidentified Egyptian woman. She was wrapped in multiple layers of ancient linen, which were covered in strange foreign writing. It is unclear why her wrappings were removed earlier, but the previous owner kept them as a macabre souvenir and displayed them in a custom-made glass case. Initially, the symbols on the linen were thought to be an early form of Egyptian writing, similar to those translated from the Rosetta Stone. However, the museum researchers began to suspect that they were dealing with something entirely different and potentially unique. Later, linguistic experts identified and traced the peculiar text back to a mysterious ancient civilization known as the Etruscans. Little is known about the vanished Etruscan civilization since very few of their own literature and history have survived. However, they were once a powerful nation in the ancient western Mediterranean, inhabiting the area of Etruria in Italy between two major rivers, west and south of the Apennines mountain range. The Etruscans are credited with establishing some of Europe's earliest cities, and their cultural achievements laid the foundation for the mighty Roman Empire. Egypt's Strangest Pyramid About five miles north of the Great Pyramids at Giza, there is an abandoned structure known as the Pyramid of Jennifer. Jennifer was one of the sons of Pharaoh Khufu, who built the first Great Pyramid on the famous plateau. The ruins of Jennifer's Pyramid, situated on a rocky hill called Abu Raish, are strangely deserted and destroyed. This archaeological site has been extensively explored since the mid-19th century, yet many mysteries remain. One of the most intriguing questions revolves around the pyramid itself and how it ended up in its current state of disarray. The top half of the pyramid is missing, and only the lower tiers, standing about 30 feet high, remain. Some experts debate whether the pyramid was ever completed or if it was a different type of structure, possibly an unrecognized solar temple. The Unborn The untouched tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun was discovered by archaeologists working near the Giza Plateau in the site of Saqqara. This remarkable find includes a mysterious tomb that belonged to a lesser-known queen named Knife, who had close associations with the ancient war goddess. Surprisingly, historical records had very little mention of her, making this discovery potentially history-altering and providing new insights into ancient Egyptian royalty. Over the years, numerous tombs have been excavated at this site, including some believed to contain the remains of King Tut's closest generals and advisors. These tombs were adorned with intricately designed coffins featuring unique faces and inscriptions from the Book of the Dead. However, the recent discovery of a pyramid-like structure associated with Queen Knife holds great significance. Although much about her life and death remains a mystery, researchers hope that her pyramid will reveal more about her role and the extent of her powers. The Tomb of Osiris In 2015, an astonishing discovery was made, an archaeological mission consisting of Spanish and Italian researchers uncovered a tomb that held great significance, not because it belonged to a legendary figure, but because it was the tomb of a deity. This symbolic tomb of the god Osiris was found in Algorna Necropolis on Luxor's West Bank, Egypt. The tomb, dating back to the 25th dynasty, featured multiple shafts and chambers, including a large hall supported by five pillars. One of its notable features was a hall with a descending staircase, leading to a funerary complex where an Osiris statue was discovered within a vaulted chapel. Interestingly, the tomb had actually been discovered in the 1880s, but it couldn't be extracted at the time, so it was left behind. Now, however, the tomb is accessible for exploration, providing an opportunity to learn about its purpose and the identity of its creator. 
While one might expect the creator to sign their name, such a practice was uncommon during ancient times. Osiris, the central figure in ancient Egyptian mythology, was the first pharaoh. He met a tragic fate at the hands of his brother Seth, the god of disorder and chaos. Seth murdered Osiris, sealed his body in a box filled with molten lead, and cast it into the Nile. Subsequently, Seth dismembered Osiris' body and scattered the pieces throughout Egypt. The Tunnel Miracle At first glance, you might not find the construction of a tunnel in Egypt particularly impressive. However, there is one tunnel that deserves admiration. During ongoing excavations beneath the ancient city of Tapasiris Magna on the Egyptian coast, Kathleen Martinez from the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and her team made a remarkable discovery. They uncovered a tunnel located 43 feet underground. But that's not all. This tunnel extended a staggering 5,000 feet in length, stood 6 feet tall, and was carved from sandstone. The sheer effort and time required to construct such a tunnel, not to mention the challenge of ensuring its structural stability, is truly awe-inspiring. Adding to the intrigue, the identity of the tunnel's builder and its purpose remained shrouded in mystery. It was evidently designed either for transporting items discreetly or for enabling people to pass through the area undetected. Unfortunately, there is no conclusive evidence to determine its original intention. Seraphim of Saqqara In the region of Seraphim of Saqqara, there exists a perplexing mystery surrounding 24 sarcophagi that were found precisely positioned in specific spots within the area. This precise arrangement has intrigued many, as it appears exceptionally meticulous, even by Egyptian standards. However, over time, reports emerged suggesting that these sarcophagi were associated with unusual electrical phenomena occurring in the room. It was said that during such events, light would permeate the area, including instances when earthquakes occurred, a common phenomenon in the area. Consequently, the prevailing belief now is that these sarcophagi were deliberately placed in perfect positions to withstand the tremors caused by earthquakes. Additionally, the occurrence of earthquake lights would serve as a means for people present in the area to see during such events. The White Desert the color of sand in Egypt is typically yellow or golden, like in many other parts of the world. However, there are exceptions to this norm, such as the white desert found in Egypt. This white desert is incredibly bright, almost causing discomfort to the eyes when observed. When visiting the white desert, you will come across striking structures that have been shaped by wind and erosion over time. These structures display various captivating shapes, making them perfect subjects for photography if you ever have the opportunity to visit. Roman Mummy In a surprising discovery, archaeologists found a Roman-era mummy in an Egyptian oasis, which is an unexpected combination. During excavations in Egypt's Baaria oasis in 2010, archaeologists came across 14 Greco-Roman tombs that dated back to the 3rd century BC. Inside one of these tombs, they found an intricately carved gypsum sarcophagus in the form of a woman dressed in Roman attire. Although the woman's sarcophagus lacked a name, the elaborate design implied that she was a person of significant wealth. However, the presence of a Roman-era mummy in Egypt raises questions about how she ended up there and whether there may be more Roman artifacts or remains scattered across the Egyptian sands. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please make use of the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification icon so we can keep in touch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.